I wake up um, early in the morning, say, at sunrise, and uh, head out with a Zulu tracker, Zulu field ranger uh, named Bomb. And uh, what I do is I've got um, a radio transmitter that we've put into the horn of seven black rhino females. And um, that transmitter, what it does is it, it emits a beep, a radio signal, and I can use radio telemetry to, to track that female. And so that's what I do. I go out into the hilltops and uh, try and track the female, find a direction on her, and then we'll walk. I'll walk with my Zulu field ranger and we'll walk onto her. I'll look for signs of predators for one thing and uh, for any spore or any feces and record that. And then when we arrive to the female, um, when I get to her, then I start to, I start to look at things like body condition. Is the calf present or not? Once she's moved on or, or if she's not moved on the next day, I'll come back to that same position that I've, that I've sighted her and do a vegetation sample around that around that area, plus looking for spur again. Um, so the average day would be spending a lot of time tracking females, and I might spend uh, one morning tracking one female and the afternoon tracking the other. And so I'll take each of those fecal samples and I'll, and I'll test them to see if they're pregnant or not. However, if we're finding that yeah, there is high significant rates of pregnancy, but um, these calves aren't surviving through to adulthood, then there's probably other issues going on, such as maybe high predation on calves by particularly ahina or, or lions. So I'll look at vegetation as well and see what they prefer and if what they prefer is available to them throughout their whole range. I hope that the work that, um, that I'm doing will give some background to, to what's actually happening with this population because there's concern that um, the black rhino in, in HRP and Kukuru and Falozi Park is th uh, that there are too many of them for, that this park can sustain. So that they're actually concerned that the, um, the rhinos are actually now starting to impact on the amount of vegetation they have available to them and therefore their numbers are declining. They're concerned about this population because it's extremely important to, to black rhino conservation in that if this population fails, then many of the other populations that exist around southern Africa um, don't, have a, don't have a restocking source. They can't take rhino from this park and put them there anymore. And so if, that starts to, if this starts to severely um, deplete, then that won't happen and therefore there's going to be problems, a flow-on effect. So yeah, I hope, I hope it provides some insight on, and, and uh, into what, where the problem lies and then they can direct their efforts towards that.